Hello and welcome back to another Twisted Time Departure video. In this video I'll be discussing the South Wales Metro and what I'll do to make it better. The South Wales Metro is a scheme to bring in two public transport to the South Wales area. Before we start I do have to apologise for any mispronunciations of the Welsh place names in this video. What is the South Wales Metro? The South Wales Metro is a Welsh government led project which has seen part electrification of the valley lines. The project began at the refranchising of the Wales and Borders franchise after the Reef of Trans Wales tenure as being the franchise in charge of Wales and Borders. Not that valley lines, but the core valley lines, which are a series of drawn lines which have the terminuses of Cardiff Bay, Croton for the city line, Aberdale, Rimney, Smurtha Tinfield, and to direct. The South Wales Metro is a repurposing of the existing railway network and extensions rather than building a completely new system. It's more like the tiny way metro in Newcastle or the London Overground in London than the Glasgow subway in Glasgow. Current upgrades on South Wales Metro. The Welsh Government has purchased a group of lines known as the Core Valley Lines from Network Rail, which is the infrastructure owner of the Great British. Railway network. The Welsh Government then invested in partial electrification, signaling upgrades and line speed upgrades on the core valley lines, which are lines from Cardiff Bay, Croton for the city line, Adderdale, Rimney, Merthyr Tinfield, and Trudet. The line speed upgrades with the signaling upgrades will reduce train times by speeding up the slower parts and trains to run closer together, and with the widest sig South Wales Metro being a collection of local lines from Cardiff to Trudent. Barry, Ireland, Penrith, Cardiff Bay, Mustad, Tudet, Adderdale, Murphy Tinford, and Croton, Rimney, Eddersvale Town, and Seven Tunnels Junction. They are also creating two bus rapid transit systems, one to link the head of the valleys, lines to make transit between the branches easier and faster. The bus rapid transit system is a great way to speed up. Journeys for low co uh, low cost. However, because of the Welsh Welsh max speed of 20 miles an hour throughout the whole country on all roads, this means that is a limited time and time savings can be made. Future upgrades to the South Wales Metro. Transport for Wales Wales has plans to improve the South Wales Metro system by building the Cardiff Crossrail electrification lines to Swansea and Bristol by 2030 with new services and with the final goal of electrification to Milford Tendron and Pendrick Docks. There are plans to enhance service frequencies beyond the current what being worked for towards four trains out on most lines. New dust routes to Port Call from Bridgend and Pontius Creek to Line Arvon. Rolling stock of South Wales Metro. The South Wales Metro began operations with a fleet of 15 two coach class 142 places built by British Leyland with a max speed of 75 miles per hour. A fleet of 15 two coach class 143 places built by Hansett Barkley with a max speed of 75 miles per hour. A fleet of 36 two coach class 150 sprinters built by British Rail Engineering Limited Yorks with a max speed of 75 miles per hour. And a fleet of eight one coach class 153 seater sprinters built by 100 watts here as two coach class 155 seater sprinters and converted to class 153 seater sprinters by Bristol Stadium with a max speed of 75 miles an hour. In 2019, Coalesce Amy Wales took on 12 class 170 Tesla stars built by Adtrans and John Bardier with eight of them being three coach units and the other four being two coach units with a max speed of 100 miles hour. They also gained a fleet of nine four coach class 769 trimode units built by British Rail Engineering Limited as dual voltage class 319 for Thamesink. Then in late 2010 they were when converted by Porter Brook and rush traction to class 769 with a top speed of 87 miles hour on diesel and 100 miles hour on electricity which allows for the withdrawal of the tasers in 2023, Transport for Wales introduced the fast 3 to 1 Gwint GWTs built by Stadler to replace the 769s as they were only meant as a temporary measure to replace the tasers. 
the shall see two ones are 111 five coach units including the tower tax with a torch speed of 75 miles an hour. Transport for Wales, Wales, it plans to introduce the class 756 GWTs to build a standard to replace the 170s and 153s with a street being made up of 7 4 coach and 17 5 coach trimented units which can run on diesel, taxi and other with a torque speed of 62 miles an hour. With the final train transport for Wales plans to introduce a fleet of 36 three coach class 3398 three, three, tram trains dot their standard with a max speed of 90 miles an hour and they have a, the same total length as a class 150 which they replace. The class 398s will be the only part of the fleet with level loading at some stations according to transport for Wales accessibility guidelines as also none of the new trains and Stadler feature toilets on board. How would I make it better? The South Wales Metro is a pretty good project, however, there are some issues with it, which are the low frequencies of two trains per hour to the main airport for the South Wales Metro area. For comparison, Newcastle Airport gets six trains per hour trying with Metro. I would also give the core van lines a different livery. I think the old van lines livery would be perfect as it has some historical reasons as well as it gives them their own identity which they don't have and should have as they are a different type of service as they are a tram train rather than a train service. I would also do complete electrification of the network as the current system which uses taxi train to allow for discontinuous electrification is only a temporary way to decarbonise the area and for electrification to, should be done. The South Wales Metro Core Valley Lines use, use United Kingdom's Master Series 100 early, which has a top speed limit of 100 miles per hour, which is adequate top speed for the early in the South Wales Metro area. I'd recommend the replacement of the dust flooded transit system, which is a railway or tram train service using the class 31398, which would be able to surpass the 20 mile per hour limit on roads as they can run on segregated tram tracks and also uh, with 90s in excess of 70 miles per hour. In, I would like the fitting of the trains with toilets and also more units as they're not increasing fleet as they are taking 36 150 stroke, stroke twos which solely work the core value lines with a fleet of 36 three, nine eight, which will also solely work the core value lines and they want to double trains per hour I don't see it ending well with even within three the acceleration of it and double tracking. South Wales Metro could be improved by allowing the extension of some diesel to our services. I would utilise South Wales Metro to regenerate the scene to the coast port how that still works to prevent a negative economic growth in the South Wales area. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to our train slotter from Berkshire.